entire training team, I'm going to introduce this entire panel to you on stage. Or simple situation over. There'll be an opening address. Or after that, you have to ask all the questions all the questions you want to ask. Please go right ahead. So Daniel Isaac on the extreme left there, he's from Gamma, uh, the federation that has been, you know, one on one with MFN. So big round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. On the other side, Alan Fernandez, coach, the director of MFN operations. Shrikant Zekar and John Mitchell, the co-main event. Shrikant and John this side. Seth Rosario sitting right next to Shrikant and on this side, they'll come back. Arga Shaw, a big round of applause. That's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And right in the middle, Krishna Shroff and Aisha Shroff, the heart and soul of MFN. My name is Salim, and I've been involved for so many years now with it, so it's my great pleasure once again to be part of this entire setup. And to start things off, I'm going to ask Aisha Mack to say a few words, be the opening address. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, it's a very special occasion and uh, as Salad said, thank you for braving the rain, very unexpected. Uh, super happy to have you here. Uh, we are privileged to be in the company of India's top fighters tonight and uh, as well as uh, two guests from overseas, uh, from Ireland and Kyrgyzstan. So please give them a big round of applause. Um, without further ado, I think we should uh, open the floor for questions. You just raise your hand and then we go ahead with questions. Yes, on the extreme left there, Manan. Uh, can somebody just give a mic? <coughs> yeah. So my question is to Aisha ma'am. We've seen a lot of amateur events in the last year as well as this year, and we've seen that many MFM fighters have been selected from those events. So is this ecosystem intentional, and uh, do we can we expect to see more such feeder events, giving athletes an opportunity to perform, win, and then get selected in MFM? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, currently, we have one MFM contender event per year. Uh, the plan is to take us up to four. Uh, we currently have four major MFN fight nights. The plan is to take this up to eight. So uh, the point is that we want to have the best fighters of the country signed to MFN. And uh, it's not just about having them signed to the promotion. It's about giving them multiple fights per year. That's what really matters. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan going forward and we're working towards that. Wow, so the action literally doubles. Yes, absolutely. Did you just say that? The four MFN events that happen every year are going to turn into eight. That's right. Wow. That's, that's right. amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. That is the best news that anyone wants to hear. Fantastic. Put up floor, correct? Please go ahead. Yes, Rahul. I'm just going to give this mic on this side as well. So, can just someone come and take mic as well? Yeah. So, my question is to uh, Krishna. Now, this is the second time on Hotstar. What are the major changes you've experienced in terms of overall show ever since MFN 10? Yeah, so MFN is extremely grateful for this partnership with Hotstar. Um, you know, with Hotstar comes more visibility for us. I believe everything has its right time, and I believe this is the time for MFN to be seen even more by everyone. Thank you. Yes, uh, so the mic is right there, why don't you just go right ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I have a follow-up. I have a follow-up question for Krishna. The vision that you started with, and now 10 shows later, what would you say, are you on track of achieving that vision, and how is the future shaping up? Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, you guys are seeing the vision. Uh, I'm so proud of Matrix Fight Night and everything it's been able to achieve in such a short period of time. You know, four years is not a lot for a promotion. Um, and two years were taken off due to COVID. Uh, so extremely proud and it, it was only possible with, you know, our extremely resilient team. Um, I believe our traje trajectory is unmatched and this is only the beginning. Fantastic, thank you so much. 
so now since we are talking about uh, Disney Hotstar, uh, this is my question to Coach Allen. So Coach Allen, in the previous pressers, we were talking about OTP, we were talking about uh, title belts, we were talking about feeder events. Now we've seen it all. We've got Disney Hotstar, we've got uh, the feeder event, which is MFN Contenders, and we've got the title fights. Now. I want to ask you that what other surprises do you have in store for all the MMA and MFN fans in the country? I think uh, ma'am already let the cat out of the bag. We have eight events a year, that's the pro fight nights that we'll be having. And uh, as far as the contender or the feeder shows that are there, they're, they're going to double up to four. Not really double up, we did one last year, it's going to be four times more. Thanks, Ali. So that's what we have, and other than that, there'll be a lot of international flavor. You see the gentleman sitting right next to me, and the gentleman next to him. So that's only going to get bigger and bigger. Probably we'll need a bigger press conference arena with a lot of international flavors, giving a run for their money to all the Indian athletes as well. So that's the surprise. No more anymore. Thank you so much. Here, one sec. For members of the press that probably don't are joining us for the first time, also. So our four MFN big fight nights happened and the last one also happened in, in Dubai. And the uh, feeder events, yes, we talk about that is where all the contenders, you know, so we have a fight card, which you have read about, there's an undercard and there's a main card, there's a co-main event and there's a main event. So that is how the demarcation is done and that's the reason why uh, they're asking what is going to happen to that. So those undercard wali fights are those that come from the contender events. Just to sort of explain a little bit there. Yeah. Right. So uh, another question to Coach Shalin. Uh, MMA is getting popular in the country and across the continent. Now, we see a lot of foreign promotions eyeing on domestic talent, but then they fail to pick the, the best talent and, and the right talent. However, what we see at MFL is we've got the best talent from India and outside. What, what is your say on it? Well, exactly. We have the best of the best at MFN. And uh, there won't be a... It won't be too long that you'll see the international fighters also flocking into MFN because the ecosystem, like Krishna said, we built it in such a way that we want the fighters to be comfortable for the fight. And uh, when I say that, you know, for everybody who doesn't understand what it takes to be a fighter, there is a process when the fighter lands at the airport right until he enters the cage. If you don't make the fighter feel comfortable enough to enter the cage, the fights can go either way. And um, I just had, had a brief chat with John also. So the things that happen around the world, uh, where fighters are treated, the way fighters are, you know, taken into promotions when they don't know what they what to expect. MFN has laid out that plan very very clearly. So the day one a fighter enters or rather signs a contract with MFN, they know what they're getting into right till the day they want to just plan their future ahead. So yeah, I think we are in a good space. Right, so. Yeah, and I just also want to add to that Matrix Fight Night, you know, with every show we're just growing leaps and bounds and I think that's that's pretty evident and very visible. Um, there is no MMA in India without Matrix Fight Night. Very true. <laughs> and you ask the fighters as well, the fighters also the questions. Please so, go ahead. So my question is to John. So John, this is your second fight in India. Yeah. The previous one was in Manipur in November last year. What is the difference between that event and here? This is much, much better. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Alan a lot as well. <laughs> right, so you'll be facing Seth for the title fight. And... Shrikan. Sorry. 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 sorry, you'll be facing... Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Seth was just looking at me, so... <laughs> so you'll be facing Shrikan in the co-main event. Uh, how's your preparation? Oh, pr preparation has been absolutely amazing. Like, we train with world-class athletes and all the big organizations in Dubai. I've got my head coach, Milano, that we live in fight camp. You know, we don't go in and out of it, so it's been really, really good. And I'm sure you're going to see something very special tomorrow. All the best. Just for your accent, brother, I want to give a lovely round of applause. A lovely Irish accent. It's beautiful. Yes, up to Let me end you around here. Please. Thank you, everyone, for having us here. This is that Geek Punk and that Geek Punk show. So I would just like to remind, Seth is on a three-fight win streak. Duncan Vick is on an eight-fight win streak. So, there's a lot more online than just, just the welterweight title of the world. So, does that put any extra pressure on both of you? Shrikant to you and to Dr. Mick, both of you. Aset, Aset and Dr. Mick, both of you. I'm treating it like just another fight, focusing on things I can control, putting my energy moment to moment to doing my best. In a way, it is different than any other fight because of the pageantry that's built around it, but I'm not letting that affect me. 
So I'm happy this is my 10th pro fight. That's a victory for me. And uh, I think the future will take care of itself. Um, one more thing. Both of you guys have a great ground game. So like, does that like, uh, thing there, like you have to prove it, uh, to the other guy that you're better than him or like something like that? <laughs> like, both of you guys to win by any way necessary. Uh, hi guys, my name is Rakham Erigesh. I fight in main event. I am very happy to fight main event for title. I am very happy. We are ready, inshallah. Uh, tomorrow, we will show one of the best fights in the event, inshallah. My name is Akbin Singh. And I am an interview to you. Hi, Sahih. Namaskar. Uh, Hindi mein baat uh, can we can do Hindi? Yes, Zaru. I understand it. My Hindi is a little rusty. <laughs> Actually, when I was coming in press conference, I met some of the writers. And uh, they are passing time together, they are living together. So somehow they have become some friends. Like, like friends. Oh, they I asked them how oh, they will fight each other when they do have become the friend. Yeah, we're so, not all friends. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Another question I mind is that in Hindi bat, especially, people are not much aware of MI fan matrix fight nights. So what are your plans for Hindi bat? Your viewers who want to watch that, those who became interested in your fights for Hindi bat, what are you planning for that? So um, the interesting thing is uh, if you see uh, fighters all over India, uh, the maximum number of pro MMA fighters come from the northern and northeastern side of the country. So uh, I think there itself you have part of your answer. And with regard to the other bit of it, uh, these uh, athletes are professional athletes. They are not street, uh, street fighters. They are highly trained. And uh, they bring all that skill uh, to a fight in the cage. Outside the cage, they're just normal guys and they can they can be friends. But once the cage door closes, there's no more friends. Or Hindi ki baat mein karna Hindi commentary bhi hai hamare paas. Aur Disney Hotstar par aap Hindi commentary bhi sun payenge. Main bhi Hindi baat kar raha hu. Hamare promos bhi Hindi mein hai. To Hindi band ke liye specifically, ye we are 60% Hindi. To even agar hamare fighters us samay baat nahi kar rahe Hindi mein, commentary bhi Hindi mein ho rahi hai. Actually, my opinion is that there are many people from India who think that they are their big brother and family. So, Aisha Bhabi and Krishna and Raghavali are their children. So, our thanks is for the children. That's why I thank you. So, I am very proud of you. Thank you so much. 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 Yes sir, it's very beautiful. Thank you. Let's see the cricket, let's see the cricket. It's the same time. We want to support you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question for Dan sir and Alan sir, if you can answer this. At this press conference and even at this event, we have a Russian representative from Gamak. So does that mean Russian fighters are going to be a part of MFN? or MFN is going to Russia, can you let some more cats out of the bag, please? <laughs> I think uh, what we are going to do with Russia is still very secretive. And, uh, but definitely, if you see a, a Russian international sitting in the front row, there's definitely something coming up with MFN. So I'll just leave it at that. And uh, just to answer Vishwaji, Vishwaji, you said that you were talking about जगजीत सिंह जगजीत सिंह जी मेरठ के पट्टे की बात करेंगे हमारी पहली रो में एक मेरठ का पट्टा बैठा है तो हमने हमने सब जगह रिसर्च करके बैठे हैं बस सपोर्ट आपका चाहिए कि अब आप बॉलीवुड के साथ साथ एमएमए भी देखें क्योंकि जैकी दादा का प्रमोशन है सेकेंड रो जी नहीं आपके पीछे में अरे इधर 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 सामने 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 आप दे दीजिए माइक या हेलो दिस इस संजय अग्रवाल आई बीन कवरिंग दिस ऑन माय वर्ल्ड न्यूज़ पोर्टल 
so my question was about when we're talking about mixed martial arts. So we have karate and we have other kickboxing. So where's our strength line in the players? In which karate or kickboxing or which other? See, um, if you talk about the sport of mixed martial arts, the very word defines itself. So somebody who has practiced karate for all his life has to evolve into a well-rounded skill set which is mixed martial arts. So, a karate wala, if I may speak in Hindi to you, yes. Okay, karate wala hai, agar usko boxing nahi aati hai, ya sirf fast kick jo points ke liye le raha hai, to shayad wo MMA mein successful na ho paaye. Agar karate wala kisi kushti wale ke saath rata hai, jo usko chit karne ke liye koshish karega, to shayad wo na successful ho. Lekin jitni bhi combat sports ki jo backgrounds hai. अगर आपके पास किसी भी मार्शल आर्ट्स का बैकग्राउंड तो आपके लिए इट इस इजीअर फॉर यू टू गेट इट टू एमएमए, बिकॉज़ यू ऑलरेडी हैव दैट माइंडसेट ऑफ एन एथलीट ऑफ अ फाइटर टू गेट इट इन द केज। सो बेसिकली इफ यू आर अ कराटे पर्सन यू आर वेलकम, इफ यू आर अ रेसलर यू आर वेलकम, यू कूड ब open-minded enough to evolve into the sport of mixed martial arts because it's not one-dimensional like the other sports. And do we have girls also? Part yes, we do. Unfortunately, not on this show, but in our previous show, we had two girl fights and like, there are more girl fights coming up in the next show. <laughs> so please do keep following us. And uh, Aisha, man, this is going to be held in Delhi, uh, the Atal Kudura. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so you people are going to be there for the event? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. It's going to be tomorrow, yes. uh, starting at 6 p.m. Great, thank you. And to your question for the women fights, you can always go on Disney Hotstar. There are lots of the videos on the previous editions as well. We watch. And so you will be able to see that. Great. As you can see, I'm trying to spread it as much as I can. But yeah, this is... And, and also, uh, the reason why Coach Allen also there, one of the biggest fighters that we had of our country, and which is why, you know, that uh, information came from his side as well. So, a little bit of an education. The more awareness we spread, I think the better it is for all of us. Also, yes. when it comes to uh, the women, we just introduced our first uh, belt for the women. Um, one of our champions, Pooja. She was up against an American and uh, defeated her in the first round. Great. Hello. Uh, this is uh, Manji. Uh, actually, I wanted to know how many countries will take part in this uh, process. And uh, I am reading the undercard and the main card. What is the difference uh, between this uh, undercard and the main card? Well, uh, usually the undercard consists of uh, uh, fighters who are making their professional debut who, or who are still uh, early years in their professional career. Uh, the main card consists of uh, fighters who have been, who are more veteran, can I say, and uh, whose records also uh, speak for themselves. And how many countries will take part? Uh, the world is open to us, actually. And uh, as, as I love to say, uh, India is shining. And uh, everybody wants to come here now. So uh, MFN, we, we are happy to welcome fighters from all over the country who reach out to us and make the best matchups for our boys here and girls. Ma'am, we've seen a lot of the undercard fighters perform really, really well in the past. And uh, do you think that the undercard fighters could eventually give the veterans a tough challenge? Wow, okay. Uh, I think with the undercard, there's, a, there's an extra hunger, you know, to make a mark uh, on, on, uh, on the show. So, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, you do get to see some really exciting fights. But then, uh, like I always say, uh, and you know, when I, when I talk to Krishna, uh, every time